Hi guys, it's Dulcie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about genius dorm tips all freshmen should know. And not all of these are um, dorm tips. Um, some of them might be. So yeah, so let's get into the video. So the first one is there's other places to study than just the library. Um, usually I like to um, move it around a little bit, um, like where I study. Um, sometimes I'll study in my dorm room, other times I'll study in my dorm lobby, and sometimes I'll go to the library if I'm in that mood. It honestly just depends on my mood. So pick a spot that works for you, and you can change it up every week um, or every day, depending on what you want to do. Number two that is get a backpack that is large. Um, you'll be carrying a lot of stuff in your backpack around campus and get one that is so get one that is large enough to fit all of your books and folders and stuff. Um, you guys have seen my backpack. I've had a bunch of backpacks since I've been here, so they all worked really, really well with carrying everything that I would need if I had back to back classes. Um, the next one is go to school orientation. Um, yeah, I think this one is pretty self-explanatory, and I kind of um, talked about it a little bit in some of my other videos. Um, the next one is you can move around your class schedule. Um, every semester, I spend an hour trying to get the best schedule that I can. Um, most of the time, there are a few different time slots that I that you can choose from. Um, make sure that your schedule works for you, um, and where you know you're going to do your best. Um, I personally prefer to get all my classes done in the morning, that way I have the afternoon slash evening to do homework and I still have time for practices and stuff. Um, the next one is your planner will be your lifeline. Um, write everything down in your planner. I usually go through my syllabus, syllabi like once I get them in class and write all the homework and tests in it. I also write, I usually write my class schedule in there so like it's just a helpful tip and then like if we have homework in that class I can line it up to that class time. I also write practices, meetings, and all that other stuff. Um, next is sit in the middle of class. Um, paying attention in class will save you hours of time outside of class um, because you won't need to reteach you to do this stuff. Um, I personally learn better if I'm like in the middle or the back of the classroom. Um, download the A plus grade app. This um, app what you do is you take you put all of your classes um, assignments in there and you put how much they are worth and then as um, and what it does is it calculates um, what you need to get on every assignment in order to get the desired grade that you want um, make a friend in every in every class um, um, I think this is very helpful that way like if you're there's a big test coming up and um, you want a study buddy you can message to that friend that you made. Um, whatever you do, don't procrastinate. One method that I do is to do an assignment within the day or two of receiving it. Um, you will feel overwhelmed and that is okay. Um, schedule out your full, full four years of classes. Um, this is one of the biggest things that I'm going to tell you. Go through your major um, and you can like look through um, most schools I feel like have what classes you need to have in order to get um, the degree in your major, like what classes you need to take for that major. Um, I would recommend looking at that and writing that down um, and then planning out um, classes because sometimes some classes like will interfere with each other each semester so if you have to take one class a different semester that is totally fine. Um, try to take six or seven classes a semester um, I know that probably sounds like a lot, um, but it will be probably probably the easiest way to get um, done with your class schedule. Well, not your class schedule, but get done with all your classes. Um, also, I would recommend, um, you don't have to, but I would recommend taking summer classes online that are offered through your school or through other schools that will transfer the credits over. Um, use RateMyProfessors.com when scheduling classes. I um, 
I believe I've touched on this topic before, so, yeah. Um, ask people from your high school or older friends about um, classes. Um, if you know someone that's in, that goes to the same college as you and they're the same major as you and um, they're older than you, I would at, recommend asking them what classes to take and kind of the order. Um, do not pay full prices for textbooks. Um, you can find cheap ways to do that. Um, keep your door open. Obviously, you can see that my door is closed, but I am filming this video and I don't want uh, random people, because I am right by the stairs to go outside, so I don't want random people walk, walking through this video. Um, but there are some times where I will have my door open. Um, yeah. If you're going to spend money on anything, buy a mattress pad. They make the dorm beds so much more comfortable. Um, be insanely outgoing. Uh, you can make eggs in your dorm room. Um, just look up how to do it. Um, because I usually just like scrambled eggs, so I'm not going to tell you scrambled eggs if you don't like this. Um, bring medicine. This is probably like another really big tip that I'm going to tell you guys is to bring medicine because you will definitely need it. Um, a sound machine will save your life. Like if you um, have a noisy roommate or you're trying to fall asleep and can't, it will help. Um, you, this next one says use a mesh shower caddy and not a plastic one. I use a plastic one that has holes in it so I don't have a lot of like water that drips into my room when I bring when I'm done in the shower. So whichever you prefer. But if you're gonna get a plastic one, I would recommend getting one with holes in it so that the water still continues to drain and doesn't just sit in the bottom of it. Um, you can get a really good random roommate. My freshman year I got a um, good random roommate. We don't talk as much as we did my freshman year, but um, we were really, really close when we were roommates, so yeah. Um, get the earliest move-in time slot you can. Um, I would also, going along with that point, is communicate with your roommate if you have one of what time they're going to be coming because you don't want to like both move in at the exact same time because personally I feel like you guys move in at the exact same time it's going to be very very hard and it's going to be very very clustered and I just think that um, if you get there as early as you can you can get in get done and spend um, some more time with your family before having to um, go back to your dorm room and settle in and get ready for classes. Um, you don't need your entire wardrobe. Um, what I do, well what I've been doing and what I keep will keep doing is I like separate my clothes when I'm at home for the summer based on what I know I'll wear and what I know I won't wear and then when I come back I just bring those clothes with me. Um, don't forget to bring cleaning supplies because when you first move into your dorm room it's going to be probably really dusty and really dirty from the last person if the um, cleaning people haven't cleaned the rooms if, you, they, if the schools have them because um, not every time they will clean them but I would bring cleaning supplies for when you first move in so you can like wipe everything down and do that and then at going like throughout the semester your room will get pretty dusty and pretty dirty so you will want more those cleaning supplies to continue to clean um, throughout the year. Um, bring wallflowers to make your room smell better. Um, I have a Scentsy thing and I have a wax warmer thing. Um, only bring cash to bars if you're, um, I, I don't know why this one is for freshmen, but if you're a freshman um, in starting school and you're of age to drink, um, only bring cash that way, like, and if you're 21 and watching this and you go to college, um, bring cash to bars. Um, I feel like I've heard that this has worked really, really well, um, and if you only bring a certain amount of cash, then you're only um, certain to buy that um, much of like drinks. So if you bring like 30 bucks, you're only going to spend 30 bucks on drinks. And then once you run out of cash, that's your stopping point. Um, be nice to everyone. Um, I feel like this is a given. Um, I try to be nice to everyone that I've, I talk to. And if we talk and things just don't work out, then we kind of just go our separate ways. 
Um, don't wear your lanyard around your neck. I do have a lanyard, um, and usually it clip it's clipped to my keys, and I only really bring it if I am going like multiple places, like in one trip when I'm driving. Like, and I only use it when I'm driving. But every other time, like I just have my key, my swipe and my key, and I just take it off my lanyard and I like, stick it in my pocket. Um, don't only hang around with people from your high school if you go happen to go to the same college as people that you went to high school with. I, for I like fortunately did not come to college with um, people that went to high school. I went to high school with, so I made a lot of new friends when I first came here, and I'm very grateful that that. I still talk to people like my friends from high school. Um, I don't have like I talk to a few of them that we're, I'm still close with. Um, but yeah. Um, stay at your college for at least a month before going back home. Um, I um, had to go back home my first semester here um, because, like, my first semester semester last year because I was in the process of moving from Ohio to West Virginia. So I had to um, move and like I had to like go home on the weekends to like help move or just stay at my camper with my little brother. Um, so yeah. Um, you'll feel like everyone has found their best friends and you're the only one that at the, at your school that hasn't found your people. Um, honestly, it just takes some time, I feel like. Um, try, go to do different organizations and if you don't mesh well with those people, it's alright. Um, just try your best to make new friends. So, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some very useful tips out of this. Um, and I will talk to you guys in my next video.